Mathematics has always been a powerful tool for studying, measuring and calculating the movements of planets. Mathematics helped evolve the solar system model. The first model was the geocentric model, which explained how all planets orbit the Earth. Scientists including Copernicus, Isaac Newton and Galileo helped convince authorities of a new model, defined as the heliocentric model. This astronomical model outlines that all eight planets of the solar system revolve around the Sun. Kepler's law of planetary motion describes the motion of planets around the Sun. Planetary orbits are not exactly circular, but rather elliptical. To prove this, scientists look at eccentricity. Eccentricity is a value that ranges from zero to infinity. It determines the amount by which the orbit of a planet around the Sun deviates from a perfect circle. Therefore, the greater the eccentricity, the less the orbit resembles a circle. An eccentricity of zero is a circle. An eccentricity greater than zero but less than one indicates an ellipse. An eccentricity of one indicates a parabola. An eccentricity greater than one indicates a hyperbola. When eccentricity equals to infinity, the graph is called a directrix. This is a vertical line perpendicular to the horizontal axis. The formula for eccentricity is C over A. C defines the length from the center to either focal points. There are two focal points where the sun can be positioned during orbit. A defines the radius from the center till the vertex. In this case, a vertex is the point which deviates a curvature. Obliquity is the second mathematical measure used to explain planetary orbits. Obliquity is the axial tilt of a planet between an equatorial plane and an orbital planet. For example, an obliquity of zero means the rotational axis is perpendicular to the orbital plane. The two axes point in the same direction, so there is no angle of elevation and hence no axial tilt. Let's look at the Earth. The Earth's obliquity or angle of tilt oscillates from 22.1 degrees to 24.5 degrees. This is because the Earth's axis constantly changes due to self-inclined natural earthquakes and tremors in the land. Axial precession is the third measurement which helps understand planetary orbits. It is the change in orientation of a rotational axis in a rotational body. Basically, the wobble motion. But how did Kepler use these three measures to define elliptical orbits? It's simple, through trial and error.